Old Town Mall was a shopping mall in Torrance, California that opened in 1972 and later changed its name in 1994. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to our regular scheduled program. Developer Robert R. Brindle described his concept for Old Town Mall in Torrance as a recreational retailing. The 320,000 square foot enclosed mall located at 19800 Hawthorne Boulevard near Delamo Boulevard opened on October 9, 1972. It cost $30 million to build and initially housed 142 merchants. From the start, it was different. Stores had distinctive fronts that were designed to make each seem like an individual attraction to shoppers traversing the center's cobblestone main walkways. At first, the mall tenants were small businesses with no major anchor stores. They included specialty shops, individual food vendors, and a whole section, Artisan Way, filled with glass blowers, weavers, potters, clockmakers, and jewelry craftsmen. The mall reminded me of a combination of Fantasyland at Disneyland and the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas. The mall's attraction had themes ranging from the Old West to the turn of the century America. Antique street lights that once lit Long Beach streets were brought inside. Puppet shows, costume bands, performing at an old fashioned gazebo, a singing security guard, a refurbished cable car, and a fully operational carousel for kids were all part of the mall's ambiance. The mall also featured a turn of the century themed wax museum, Old Town Mall Little Theater, a refurbished cable car, a working carousel, indoor forest themed ride, and special events included dance marathons, frog jumping contests, bingo games, and arm wrestling tournaments, as well as Civil War reenactments, Christmas time elves, art festivals, concerts, and even puppet shows. A Civil War reenactment was held in the parking lot. I guess they figured nothing spells something more historically accurate than having a Civil War battle at the mall. A turn-of-the-century wax museum opened in November of 1973. At Christmas time, elves played by real little people greeted customers. Art festivals were a constant, as were concerts featuring all types of different music. The mall could not effectively compete with nearby Delamo Fashion Center and the South Bay Galleria. By 1982, the owners remodeled the mall for $3.8 million and added two big box anchors, Marshall's and Dayton Hudson's new Plums, which opened in September of 1983. At the same time, the owners changed the name of the mall from Old Town Mall to Old Town Place in an attempt to reflect its updated image. The changes didn't seem to help the mall to survive in an increasingly competitive marketplace. In February 1986, Old Town Place, which by now included a large Federated Group store and a Ross clothing store, was put up for sale. It remained on the market for two years, finally selling in July of 1988 to a group of investors for approximately $18 million. The Federated Group Electronics Store closed in 1989. In 1989, the electronics and appliance store Silo replaced the Federated Group. Silo itself would go out of business in 1995. Another $40 million facelift was announced in early 1989. This time, the roof would be removed and the center would be converted into an open-air sh shopping strip with all tenants facing Hawthorne Boulevard. Only the carousel remained from all the earlier attractions when the remodeling was completed late in 1990, but it operated only until 1992. 
In late April 1994, the carousel was cre created up and shipped out to Eastwood Mall in Niles, Ohio. The center was renamed first Torrance Cityplex and then Torrance Promenade. Trader Joe's was added in November of 2002. So what do you remember about this mall? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.